G'day gang. Um, just a little comparison on bars and chains. Um, pretty crappy iPhone video here, but just a couple of things that have come up just on Aussie Chainsaw Enthusiast tonight. When you get a, a cheap bar and chain, this one here is a buy link. And, um, you know, 50 bucks for a bar and chain seems like a bargain. But have a look at how much slop is in the bar and chain. It's hard to show, but that's a brand new bar and chain, but it's got significant side-to-side -side movement on it. You compare that to, this is an older Husqvarna or Oregon bar and chain with, with a uh, chain, well, the chain's actually a Carlton, but um, an Oregon bar, and it's got pretty similar slop in it but it's probably done you know 30 40 hours of pretty hard usage so straight out of the box this one's got as much if not more play in the rail on it go to something like a samura which is a higher quality bar same sort of carlton chain as on the the husqvarna bar this has done a lot of work you can see by the cutters on the on the chain it's actually had lots of filings virtually no movement in the rail this rail's never been dressed or fixed up but it's just harder better quality steel tighter tolerances in the machining the buy link being a laminated bar it's it's you can see that that gives you an idea of how much movement there is in it that's a brand new laminated bar but the lamination process just can't ever possibly get the same tolerance as what you get with a decent bar and chain. And so, yep, a Samura with a, with a decent chain, you're looking at about 160, 170 bucks. Bylink you can get for 50 bucks. But I would be surprised if you don't get five to six times as much life out of a Samura bar as you do on the Bylink one. The older Oregons are pretty good, newer ones not so so great, um, but and probably the, the still high quality still bars are probably the best of the lot. But yeah, you can think you're saving money, but if you're actually using your saws a lot, I reckon something that's got a, a professional quality machine groove in it, you can't go wrong. Um, Oh, I get the buy links really just for saws that are going to sit on the shelf so that I can say they've got a bar and chain on them. If I'm actually cutting with them, I go for the Samura every day of the week for, for the Dolmars and Jones or Eds that, that I have because if I had a still, I'd just get a still bar.